What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Troublemakers Guild. I was recently contacted by a company called Dubu, D-E-W-B-U, uh, asking if I'd be interested in checking out some of the products that they had for sale. And I never heard of this company before, so I went on to their Amazon store. Turns out they mostly sell heated jackets, heated gloves, and power banks. So I replied to them and I was like, sure, you know what, I will check out some of these products if you want to send them out to me. And they did for free. Uh, there's your disclosure. Um, I didn't promise them a positive review or anything, but they sent out some products for me to check out. And if everything goes well, which I hope it does, then it'll be a good review. And if it doesn't go very well, I'll contact their customer service and see if we can get something figured out. But by the way, haven't even looked at them yet myself. We're going to do an unboxing together. So without further delay, let's go ahead and take a look at it right now. All right, so here is the power bank. Uh, this is the company here, Dubu. No secret here, this is a likely a Chinese company. I usually don't hold that against something. It's more of about how good is a product made in China. So let's just uh, take a look here and we'll get to testing. That'll focus. There we go. It is a pretty cold one right now. My hands are almost like a green color because of how cold it is. All right, there's the power bank. This is a 12 volt. Looks like you got USB-C there. I'm not sure what that is. That's maybe, oh, power button. 55, okay. It's blinking a lot on the camera, but it's not actually doing that. This is refresh rate. Popped off there, DC, maybe for charging your, your computer or something. I'm not a tech nerd. All I know is USB and USB-C. Comes with a little charger as well. And that is a USB-C charger. Cool. Let's check out the actual clothing now. All right. Let's go ahead and crack open the box here. It's kind of interesting. It says on the box, lithium ion batteries forbidden for transport aboard passenger aircraft. So if you want to take one of these heated jackets or gloves onto an airplane, that is probably not going to happen. Dubu heated gloves. Safety and Innovian. Not sure if that's supposed to, be. It's supposed to say innovation. Say hi to warmth, long lasting electric heat. Now, my normal glove size is a large. I ordered an extra large for this. These are definitely big. The reason I ordered a size up is because I figure if I'm wearing something underneath it, it would be, I guess, kind of handy to have a little bit of extra room. Trying them on without the heat. Uh, they're actually pretty warm. Like that is, uh, oh, it even says on the side, 3M Thinsulate. So it's using some real deal insulation on the inside. Here you have the power buttons and it looks like got a zip here. That is likely where the battery goes. Power bank, ah, in fact, that explains why you had that little, was it DC port on the battery bank? Cause that's where you're gonna plug in your jacket. So that makes perfect sense there. So there's the gloves, very comfortable actually. Uh, here is the five volt power banks that come with the gloves. And there are two of them, which would make sense because we have two gloves, right? So there we go. Another charger for that. In fact, there's two chargers in there so they don't skimp on the chargers, that's for sure. Same deal on the jacket, normally wear a large, but I got an XL because say if it's an extra cold day, I'm wearing a hoodie or something already, then I can just toss this on over what I'm wearing. There's another 12 volt, uh, 12 volt battery bank included here. I did ask them to send out an additional 12 volt battery bank so I can test that on its own merits. OD green, as you know, it's color of choice, got some cool patches on it. I respect that. So this is supposed to be a soft shell material. Uh, if so, it's gonna be relatively water resistant, which is obviously important. The zipper of the heated jackets can be opened from the top or bottom using the bottom zipper puller if you want to put in or take out the battery, which is more convenient to use. Okay, there's a picture there. Tips, one, insert the battery and long press the button on the left chest for three seconds until red lights up 
to turn on the heated jacket. It will become medium level automatically five minutes later. Short press button to change three heat levels from high, medium, and low. Long press the button for three seconds to turn it off. One thing I really respect is they actually have the zipper on the correct side of the jacket, which is not very common on imported jackets. All right, the fit is pretty good. Um, the pockets on the front here are a little taller than I was expecting, but that's not in a bad spot by any means. Looks like you got some pockets on the sleeves as well. Got more spots for patches there. Another pocket on the right shoulder. Let me see if I can figure out where to put the battery in here. I probably won't put the battery in actually today just because I need to get back to work here pretty quick. I'm on my little break. But at this point, oh, here we go. See the cord dangling out the bottom. All right, there's your pocket right there for the battery. So that's pretty convenient. So that means you have a lot of actual pockets that you can use for storing real stuff. I never use pockets on my sleeves, but if you guys like that feature, then there you are. So it's pretty good so far as far as uh, the jacket goes in its own merits without the heated portion being on. It feels all right. Obviously, it's designed to work in conjunction with the battery bank. So, all right, guys, well, that's going to be it for right now. Uh, stay tuned. And by stay tuned, I mean just don't click off the video because I'm going to start wearing this stuff every day for the next week or two. Get a feel for it all. And I will come back and update you with what I think about it. So see you guys momentarily. All right, guys. Well, it's been more like a month or so since I unboxed the jacket and the gloves. And I think it gave me a pretty good opportunity to really see what this jacket's all about and to get an overall opinion of it. Uh, same with the gloves. Battery bank, I'll admit. I haven't really used that for much, but still, I use the gloves and the jacket pretty much every day for a couple weeks and then on and off whenever the weather permitted, um, such as today. So right now, for example, it's about 25 degrees and I'm fairly comfortable without the heated portion of the jacket even being on. Um, so what do I like about the jacket? Well, first off, obviously it's decently warm by itself. Um, it's also water resistant, which is a good touch. I like that. It looks pretty good. There's a lot of pockets and the pockets are pretty sizable. Um, that said, some of the pockets are a little weird. Like for example, I know some guys really like the sleeve pockets. It's not really my thing, but if you like it, more power to you. There's also a really weird pocket in the back here. And I'm not sure what that's really for. Uh, kind of reminds me of like a hunting vest. Like after you shoot your bird or whatever, you can stuff it in the back there. Um, despite that, I actually did end up using it once or twice, uh, usually just for hauling around stuff like these uh, lavalier mics and things of that nature. So the pockets are nice. Um, one of the coolest things about these jackets and gloves, or the jacket and the gloves, is that it'll automatically detect how cold it is outside and will adjust to your brightness, or not brightness, but your temperature setting based on the temperature outside. Um, for example, say if it were... How about this? Say you turn it on while you're inside on the lowest setting on green, you step outside. Oftentimes you will watch the little uh, button here switch from green all the way to blue because it is cold enough outside to warrant the blue. Um, and that is usually what I would recommend doing is letting it heat up a little bit inside before you go outside with the jacket and the gloves. Um, because if it's cold enough outside, if you wait for it to heat up while you're wearing it, it seems like it wants to take its sweet time to heat up. At one point, I actually dropped one of the gloves while it was on, and it was, it was kind of interesting what happened. Basically, it cycled through all three of the colors, then turned itself off. Uh, I, don't, I don't consider that a bad thing, per se. Um, it still worked. I picked it up, turned it right back on again, and it was good to go. So that was pretty interesting, though. I was not expecting that. Um, now, what do I think could probably use a little bit of work? First off, their overall sizing is pretty small. After all, it's more or less an Asian sizing. So this is an extra large and it's a little on the short side. The sleeves could be a little bit longer, although as you can tell, they're fairly decent, but they could be a little bit longer. Um, I also think the color system could use a little work. Going from green, then red, then blue is just a little confusing. 
would make a lot more sense if it were, say, green, yellow, and red. Just because, at least in the States, that's more of a color scale that we're used to, especially when referring to temperature. Now, where I've run into some issues is with the jacket itself. And what would happen is I would have a fully charged battery or something like that. I would get the jacket plugged into it, then I go to push the button to turn it on, and it just would not turn on. Uh, for example, it did not turn on there. And there you go, you may not be able to see that. So what I did there is I unzipped the jacket, pushed the power button on the battery bank, and then tried to turn on the jacket, and it worked. So that's a little quirky. Uh, maybe I'm accidentally mess with the settings or it could just be a defect in the jacket which i have no doubt dubu would take care of um had i actually told him about that which i didn't because it's not that big of a deal i mean it still works it's just one extra step there another downside to the jacket and the gloves there is such thing as too cold for it um, say if it were zero or sub-zero degrees outside even on the brightest same brightest even on the warmest temperature setting, you may find that it's not quite warm enough by itself. So meaning um, if you're not wearing a hoodie underneath it or something, um, it won't be warm enough. So that is a factor, something to consider. Long story short, I do really like the jacket. I like the gloves, um, but it's not the end all be all when it comes to your jackets for really, really cold temperatures. This would really suit folks maybe in the um, uh, especially in warmer climates, like say uh, down south, if it's a colder winter or whatnot, you might really find uh, these jackets to be handy and useful and very comfortable. But you lived in, if you live in Alaska or you're in Colorado during a particularly cold day, it may not be quite enough. So that is something to keep in mind. But ultimately, I'm quite pleased with the jacket and the gloves. I think uh, so long as you don't live in an environment that is super cold all the time, or if you know the limitations of the jacket, this is something you should consider picking up. And um, I believe that's pretty much all I have to say. So thank you guys for watching. You've been tuning into the Troublemakers Guild and I've been Levi, appreciate your viewing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. That helps out a lot. Um, I know I'm not the most consistent uploader in the world, but I do my best, I have a full-time job. So kind of balancing both is pretty difficult at times, but there's always more plans for videos to make and i'll do my best to get those out as soon as possible so again any support means a lot so i appreciate that and remember all gun laws are unconstitutional but also remember to have a good rest of your day see ya